Get in the action at weareA1.com. Uh, he's definitely one of the brothers that uh, motivates me uh, to continuously give back, continuously going. Because, you know, one thing that you always hear um, from, you know, some of the elder people is the fact of that, um, you know, there aren't enough of us, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, actually uh, being active. Uh, and, you know, um, I could think of, you know, not too many people uh, that I know uh, is actually putting his life mm -hmm. um, and actually putting everything uh, on the line to make the world a better place. Um, and, you know, just like I said, when it, whenever I see, um, you know, him making moves, whenever I see him giving speeches, um, you know, whenever I see him getting any type of awards or accomplishments, you know, I, I feel proud, you know what I'm saying? Even though it ain't me, but you know what I'm saying? He he definitely um, is is holding it down for the brothers. One and only Anthony Collier. What's up, brother? What's good, brother? First of all, thank you so much, both of you, for having me on the show. It's a pleasure, honor, and a privilege. I'm really happy to be here, and I appreciate it. Hey, man. Hey, You're man. welcome anytime. All right, man. So, man, since this is your first time on the show, man, just give a little bit of in little introduction of yourself, you know, where you're from, you know, kind of what you do. Because, okay. uh, you know, I, I, it's so many different things that you're a part of. You know, it's hard to just say, oh, yeah, this brother does this or this okay. brother does that. So, yeah, I was born in Houston on the northeast side in Cashmere Gardens. Uh, my mom moved us out to Maynard, Texas, where I went to middle school and high school. Graduated from Maynard New Technology High School. Then I went to Texas Southern University. I uh, graduated with a political science degree in 2018. And I'm, uh, I'll am i be going to UT Law in August. Man, UT Law. Yes, sir. Hey, man, you you, you ready you, you ready to take on the, the what, what type of law are you gonna <laughs> going to practice? Well, I'm not sure what type of law I'm going to practice, but I know whatever I do is going to be definitely community oriented. I'm mm -hmm. definitely going to make sure that uh, we always have an ally and someone that who can stand up to like the, this injustice system yeah. that often, mm, you know, mm. preys on young black people. So for sure, for sure, man, you just uh, you know you just got back, man, from a from a from a wonderful pilgrimage. Oh yes, sir. Uh, you know, can you just uh, tell tell the people about that where you went to and uh, how long you were there and what you know oh, what you were doing? Sure. So yeah, I studied at Cairo University in Egypt. Uh, it was I studied law and economics. And it was an incredible experience, very humbling and uh, eye opening. And so, of course, I got to uh, visit the pyramids. I got to see the original Cairo University and also the American University of Cairo. And yeah, it was a, a phenomenal experience. Man, what was like uh, one of the biggest culture shocks from being over there and coming from America? I think the biggest culture shock was the the poverty. So, I mean, we see poverty here. But um, over there, so the majority of the people there are white Arabs, right? right and of right, course, right. we know those aren't the original Egyptians, right. but right, 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 from right, right. Arabia, they came over and kind of conquered. Right. Uh, you know, most of Africa was colonized. Right, right, Egypt right. is no different. So mm -hmm. it was colonized by the white Arabs. But, uh, and they're the ones who pretty much run uh, Egypt right now. And I was in Cairo. Okay. And so, but there were some immigrants there uh, from like Sudan who were very poor and they would be uh, on the corner. Like it was, it was, it was very like heart uh, eye opening to see that type of poverty and to see black people suffering, mm -hmm. you know, everywhere. And so uh, it, we definitely have to do something as a people to, to overcome, you know, this type of this oppression that we're seeing worldwide really. For sure, for sure. How was it visiting some of the historical sites? It was cool. Like seeing the pyramids, they're huge. Like uh, <laughs> it, it just—I even climbed on the side of one. You're not really supposed to touch me. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I climbed on side He's of one. this far, man. He's an far. American hey, over man. there. He's hey, he came this far. I got to. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it was interesting to see like the the nose blown off the Sphinx, mm. and even some of like in the museum, some of the ancient art. You see how melanated the people were, how dark skinned the people were, mm -hmm. and you just see traces of our people all throughout uh, Egypt. So I thought that was pretty interesting as well. Right. What about the culture? How is the culture? How does the culture vary from here to Egypt? Well, in the schools, it's pretty much the same. So the, the school system is set up the same way with the professor at the front. They might have like a PowerPoint presentation mm -hmm. and that's sitting in the rows. So that was pretty much the same. As far as in the streets, it depends on the socioeconomic status of the individual. So the people who are poor, kind of like here, the poorer you are, the more religious you are. You are more of a, a fundamentalist Message. if you were poor. 
And so the women who are who are poor and Islam was like the predominant religion there. Right. And if you were right. poor, if you were a woman, when you walked outside, you were covered up. You had, you know, the scarf, the hair right. wrap and everything. But and, and the, most of the poor people went to Cairo University. The rich people went to the American University in Cairo. Mm. And those girls, they would wore jeans and uh, mm. they would wear their hair out and they was choosing too. Yeah. And everybody <laughs> So, like, if I was James Harden jersey, they thought I was actually James Harden. <laughs> Did you, wait, let me stop you. Let me stop you. Did, did you did you stun on them one time like you were somebody mm. that you were? I didn't. I was like, I let them know, look, I'm just a regular old African. <laughs> but my beard was kind of thick out there because that was kind of like the style. So I let my beard grow out a little bit. And the food was delicious. Mm. Also, one US dollar is worth 18 Egyptian pounds. So Man. you're able to live large on a, a small uh, amount of money. Ooh, I'm got that with a hundred dollars. I'm gonna right. ball <laughs> out. I know, man. I wish I wish I could grow the beard, man. You know, I I be trying. You know, I'm like you, you and TK. Yeah, man. I, I grow a beard. I look like Anthony Hamilton, man. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> look, I look part homeless, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Woo! Right, man. Come back, uh, Charlie. <laughs> oh man, but that's that's dope, man. What was the one thing you missed about home while you were over there? <laughs> Uh, text mix. I miss like guacamole mm. and like uh, all, like a lot of the Mexican food. There's no Mexican food out there. <laughs> no, no Mexican. On, yeah, there's no. I really didn't see any Mexicans while I was out there. Uh, really. And in my class, I was the only actually American student. So I was actually mm. the first American student admitted into the program. So oh, wow. yeah, the culture is a lot different. But of course, like uh, since Britain colonized the world, everywhere you go, people gonna speak English. <laughs> right. right. And it's certain things that you gonna you know that like it's gonna be a KFC. You are gonna see like McDonald's. Uh, yeah, sure. McDonald's. That's everywhere. <laughs> but like sure. text mix that we're accustomed to in Texas, like that's not there. So you yeah. should have brought that out there. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, start like hey, 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 go, go. yeah I got. Yeah. Hey, what's up? You could make some money out there on that. So. Oh man, that, that's, that's that's what's up. Message man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. So now now you're back, man. You know what I'm saying? You're getting getting back, you know what I'm saying, adjusted and everything like you're that, saying, man. And yo. you ready ready to hit up the law school, man. Mm-hmm. Whoo man, yeah, that's right. a that's a, that's a tough thing. You say UT? Yes, sir, I'll be at UT. Oh man, and yeah, I know they gave that. me a, a full ride public interest scholarship, so I'm, I thank God for that, definitely. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Wow, man. I told you, man. This is brother That's heavy, amazing. man. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Well, man, we finna uh, roll into this first commercial break. Uh, and then, you know, when we come back, uh, you know, I, I have a, a lot of a lot of topics, you know what I'm saying? I want to throw this brother's way, uh, you know what I'm saying, from politics uh, to some of these other things that's going on, man. Brother Atum Ra, we are A1.com, A1 yeah. Live. RJQ, what's up?